Hey, welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at the choice that a lot of new digital cinema camera owners face. Should you buy a whole collection of Cine Primes or should you buy one or two fast zoom lenses? So in this corner we have the Rokinon EF mount um, Cine range. We have a 16, a 35, a 50, and an 85. In this corner, we have the Canon um, 24 to 70 F2.8. This one costs about $1,600 new. These cost about $1,800 for the set. The debate between um, Zoom versus Prime has been going on for a long time. Everyone can agree that Primes are sharper, Primes are cheaper, but Zoom gives you much more flexibility but with the advent of autofocus in digital cinema cameras, the debate is now all thrown up in the air because these guys need to be manually focused. This guy will do the focusing for you. You can either touch the screen where you want to focus or you can do what I'm doing right now and track a face so that no matter where the person or the object moves, the camera will keep focus for you. There is no clear cut answer to this, uh, this question or this riddle. Uh, I went with a foot in both camps. I have the cine zooms. I also have um, this and a whole bunch of other stills glass like the 50mm 1.4 that's on the camera right now that's able to do autofocus for me. And really, you know, I use different lenses depending on the project. I'm shooting a lot of YouTube videos right now, as you guys no doubt know. I end up using the autofocus zooms a lot more because I'm working as a one-man crew. Uh, I'm usually on sticks or talking to camera or just out there shooting things um, lightweight. The Cine Primes, hands down, undisputably, have a more cinematic image. Yes, you need to pull focus with them. Yes, you do need someone to pull focus, even if that's you. So that means you need a rail system, you need a follow focus, and you need to get good at working out where the focus of the camera is or the focus of the lens is. I would say certainly uh, prime lenses, the look of the prime lens, which tends to be sharper, which tends to have less distortion because, I mean, the this, lens has a lot more glass for the light to travel through than this lens. So by the time that the light gets to the sensor, it's going to be a better um, representation of uh, what is in front of the camera than with this one. But then again, you know, if the image isn't in focus, it's not very cinematic. So uh, if you're just starting out, uh, if you're going to work on lots of small productions, if you're just running and gunning, absolutely go with um, with an autofocus zoom lens if your camera can use the autofocus capability. If your idea is to shoot narrative, is to shoot um, short films and eventually shoot a feature film, it's really hard to go past these because sudden, as soon as you put them on the lens, um, and we'll look at some few examples, the image just looks that much better. Um, considering the fact that each one of these uh, is only four or five hundred dollars, whereas you're looking at sixteen hundred dollars for this. You can, you know, you can go a really long way with just the thirty-five and the sixteen. A movie came out last year called Call Me by Your Name, um, which won a lot of awards. It was shot just with a thirty-five millimeter prime lens. The whole movie, um, which the director said he did because it made it look more like feel the view of the human eye. He wanted a very observational movie. Another critical factor is that the Cine Primes are faster. They are all except the 16 are f1.5, whereas the zoom is 2.8. That doesn't seem like much, but that's actually four times more light uh, into the sensor. So you know you can shoot for another hour on these lenses after these ones have gone away. You need uh, you know a quarter as much a light. Um, to get an exposure from this as you do from this. Now, the depth of field on a 1.5 is minuscule. Uh, I don't think many people are shooting with an 85 mil wide open because the depth of field is, you know, one eye will be in focus and the other eye won't be. So we'll go down to some footage I shot to compare between uh, the different sort of lens lengths versus the sharpness and the clarity and the color you get at different um, stops.
So that's my wrap up uh, of the choice between the Stills Autofocus Zoom and the Rokinon Cine Primes. Um, they both have their place, they're both awesome, they're both great tools. Over the past year, I've probably shot uh, 100 and something days with the Autofocus system and probably five days with Cine Primes. But those five days, the stuff looked way better uh, because it was more cinematic, it was more elevated. It just looks a lot, it's a really easy way to make your footage look a lot better, look a lot like a real movie, whatever that means. At the end of the day, it's not about what's on the camera, it's what's in front of the camera. You know, tell the best story you can, light it the best you can, um, and you know, get it there, get experience, uh, learn for yourself what works for you. Thanks very much for watching guys. You can find the links to these guys below in the description. I will see you next time.